So you continue to believe that, you know, self-driving car technology is the future and that fatalities will decline even in light of this very tragic accident. Why? Right. Emily, it's going to take, I just want to say big picture, this is going to take longer than people think to get to the self-driving world, but it's going to be a bigger change than people think, too. I look back to pictures of the 1917, that's when horses were at the peak on the roads in, in New York City, the most number of horses. And when I see a car today, I think of those, those same horses. That's what you should think of when you see a car out there, is this is going to change dramatically. But I want to get to your question, the reason why I think that this still is going to power forward and that we will see this. Uh, autonomous future is that ultimately humans are not good drivers. Every year in the U.S., 5,400 people are killed. Pedestrians are killed by cars. Another thousand bicyclists are killed by cars. And it just simply, and that rate has been increasing, an increase by 11 percent last year. That's the uh, biggest increase it's had since they've been keeping records for the past 30 years. And so something is fundamentally wrong with how humans drive. So I just want the big picture to be on the table. And uh, just to talk a little bit about Tempe is I don't think that this fundamentally changes the trajectory of all those trends we just talked about, is that machines are better drivers than humans. So you have a new note out about, you know, where specific automakers stand. You know, talk to us about who's in the lead and, and, and Uber specifically, given that they're the ones behind this horrible crash. So in the lead is Waymo, just because they have the most miles driven. General Motors claims that they're going to have level five autonomy, which is no steering wheel in 2019. And so some may say that General Motors is in the lead, but I want to put a little bit of perspective on that prediction from General Motors. Is last week we did a call with an expert who works around these vision technologies that are used in self-driving cars. And when she talked about that prediction from General Motors, and she's based in Detroit, uh, she laughed. And I have a feeling that she is still laughing at that prediction. And so when we think about defining what is in the lead, a simple statement from General uh, Motors isn't necessarily evidence of that lead. But I think that uh, Waymo is, uh, from a technology standpoint, in the lead. I think another company that people are not talking about is what Apple's doing. They surprisingly have the most number of self-driving cars on the road in the state of California, 46. And they also have a bus called Pale, uh, the Paul Alto to Infinite Loop shuttle that they're working on. So uh, the, the simple answer is it's companies like Waymo, Tesla, Apple, and Uber still is in the lead. So, you know, how far away then, given what has happened with Uber, from, you know, how many years away are we from, you know, being sure that these self-driving cars are actually safe and safer than humans? It's probably 2025 before we actually see uh, measurable fleets out there. That's how it's going to start, is self-driving cars that have limited speeds and limited areas that they work in. So think of this as, call it, seven years away. As you mentioned, is that uh, Mark Grangard from our Loop Ventures team went through and looked at all the major automotive companies and what their predictions are. Most of them say they're going to have some high level of autonomy between 2019 and 2023. So we think it's beyond that. That will naturally get pushed back. But it is, as uh, we talked about, is inevitable.